Played it. Played it today at uh, powerjackrepair.org. We got a motherboard that the client sent in for the uh, for the jack replacement. This is the board that says X712 EA. Uh, so I assume the model of the laptop is X712 EA VivoBook 17K712 E. Um, when I get something like that, I'm like seriously because what what we do here is we replace the connectors, right? We replace the power jacks. The other business is USB port repairs, and then we get something like that. I have about 1000 plus videos, 1200, 300 videos on this channel of different laptop makes and models. And when I see something like that, I'm like, it has nothing to do with the jack simply because uh, this jack is kind of foolproof. I mean, you could see right away that there is nothing wrong on the bottom. There is nothing wrong on the top. Pin is still in there. So I assume it has nothing to do with the jack. But let's see. I mean, people watch our videos and they just say, you know what, I will send it to this guy, he's gonna fix it. That's, that's just a waste of my time, really. But let's see. I see some water damage right here, right away. All right, seems like something was spilled right here. Um, but I looked that the board cost about 500 bucks right now, it's 2023. So I'm just gonna see if this is gonna work. So I just have a regular power supply, nothing special. Let's plug it in and see. Well, you know what, the connector is kind of, you know, connector is kind of loose. Well, it's loose maybe because my power supply is not made for this connector. But I'll just put it in right there because, again, this is just generic power supply. Let's see if you're getting anything at the back of the jack. Right there, we set it to 50 volts. Yeah, we get we get 20 volts, all right. Oh, wow. Where is the next trace? This is ground right here, right? Yeah, this is ground. Hmm. All right, so the next spot I would say is somewhere here. This guy's supposed to give us 19 volts right here. And it does give us 19 volts. All right. Hmm. Strange. Strange thing is that... Uh, so I guess it's just the jack. All right. That makes my life a lot easier. Um, my guess the client has to wiggle the connector to make the system work. I usually get one of those and I know that it has nothing to do with the jack, but in this case, maybe it's the jack. Um, you know what, let, let me see down the road right there, do we get the voltage down there someplace? Because we got one diode right here that can block the electricity. It's supposed to go through here and probably come out someplace here, I guess. And let's let's see if we get any voltage anywhere else. All right. Let's see. We still get it here. Yeah, we still get it here. Do we get anything here? Nope, we got nothing here. Oh, that's it. We're not getting anything anymore. Right there, you see. All right, so that usually means, I mean, it should be 20 volts, but instead it's not, you know what, let me, let me change the voltmeter. No, so I mean, yeah, I was right. It's, uh, something overheats and just reduces the voltage right away. So, yeah. All right, so here we set the the voltmeter properly, and let's see if we're gonna be getting any voltages anywhere. 
Come on. All right, so we get the voltage there. We get the voltage here. We get the voltage right there. And you see we're not getting anything right here. And for some reason we're not getting, well, we still get something here, hold on. We get 3 volts here, we should be getting 20 volts out of this guy. Well, hold on, why is it, why are we not getting anything there, but we're getting 3 volts here. But nothing here. Ah, alright, so maybe something going this way. Alright, so we got 20 volts going this way. 20 volts going that way. Well, the main rail is right here. This should be 20 volts. This should be it. This is uh, secondary stuff. This is nothing really. There is nothing here, really. You know, let's see, maybe we get 20 volts some, somewhere else. Because uh, I don't want to be... Let's see. Right, here we get 20 volts. 3 volts. Yeah, we get 3 volts. That's, oh, we got 20 volts right there. Alright. So, let's uh, replace the jack. Uh, because um, that's what it's here for. And uh, yeah, I mean, but usually it never breaks. I'm I'm really surprised. So if the client wants me to replace the jack, I will replace the jack because we get 20 volts right there. We're not getting 20 volts right here. But the thing is, this could be a battery charging circuit probably, maybe. Even though I've never seen a design like that before out of, out of a couple hundred thousand laptops I have fixed in my lifetime. Hmm. Really strange that you were able to get 20 volts here, but then it, it goes down to 3. And we're not getting anything for this diode right there. We only get the voltage coming this way. Uh, I know it's a... I, I, mm, mm, all right anyways let's replace the jack even though the jack is fine well it's i mean yeah probably people had to wiggle it for some time but i honestly don't see that the jack is in fault in any way shape or form here so i'm thinking i'm just going to be wasting my time here all right let's look. And I don't have the laptop in front of me, so I have no way to test if everything's gonna work fine after I'm done with it. But probably, nah, I mean, that diet should be putting 20 volts through it. I mean, that's the reason it's there. It should be... All right, anyways, let's replace the... Even though the connector works, you could see it outputting the 20 volts. Maybe, maybe the system was working fine prior to shipping it my way. Uh, it just the, the the connector is loose inside. Maybe, but I I doubt it. All right, let me show you how to replace this connector. Uh, this is just insulation. It's a 3M like twenty dollar a pack of one of those. 3M high high temperature insulation can handle up to five hundred degrees, I believe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some solder to the top, solder to the bottom, and it's going to pop right out. And I will show you in a second how I'm going to be doing this. All right, so what I'm going to do here, are we recording? Here we're recording. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add some flux right there. And then I'm going to power up the the hot air just a little bit of air just to warm things up we're gonna add uh, some solder here all right 
some solder there. All right, so I'm just making sure that everything is uh, everything has a fresh coat of solder. Even though I think it's a waste of time, honestly, it's the jack is the jack should be fine. Alrighty, now we position it for takeout and increase the temperature a little bit and now it's supposed to come right out of the position in here. Alright, like that. Alrighty. Reduce the heat a little bit. All right, looks good. All the solder removed. Let me go find a brand new connector. All right, so that's the old connector, that's the new connector. The situation is that this one sits a little bit deeper. This one gonna be sit a little bit higher. So what I'm gonna do, I will put it upside down into the motherboard that way the holes on the outside are gonna align properly. So instead of putting it this way, I'm gonna put it the other way. In theory, it should work.
That way everything is aligned. Yep. But again, I'm sure it has nothing to do with the jack. That looks good. Looks good. Let's get the excess solder of the motherboard. Alrighty. Alrighty. All right. All right. The the connector was put upside down so that uh, it would be It would fit the outside hole. Let's... All right, so hopefully the client would be able to install it into the casing because I'm not quite sure what's underneath here. Plus this sticks out pretty badly, so I don't want it to short anything, so here. All right.
All right. All right, so if the client would at least make a note saying what the problem is, I would be able to troubleshoot it a little bit better. But when we get a motherboard or a laptop here, I assume the problem is the connector. That's what they want to replace. So I go ahead and replace it, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the diet right there, because usually this is the primary line right there. This is a primary line. And uh, well, let's see if it's going to conduct any electricity through. Oh, you know what? This is much sturdier plugin. So maybe this is the right. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look what we got here. So yeah, we got 20 volts here. Well, for now we got 20 volts right there on the rail as well. And we got 20 volts going through. Why, why, why back in the days it was three volts? That's the question. All right, let's unplug it. Let's plug it back in. And we get 20 volts. I don't want to keep it plugged in for a long time. Simply because um, the CPU is going to overheat. But for a few seconds, it, it doesn't take that much. Uh, I mean, it, it's not going to melt for a few seconds. All right. Anyways, uh, this is how we replace the jacks. Uh, I, again, if those of you who are going to comment that I had to put the jack upside down. Here. This is the bin. Basically, we have a jack like that, that has a smaller front pins. So in theory, it's maybe even better to put this one upside down, but then it would be a little bit uh, up or down millim millimeters wise. This guy right here has a slightly higher, so a few millimeters more, all right? And I got tens of thousands of jacks, by the way. Uh, I got more jacks than anybody else in the world, and I sold more jacks than anybody else in the world. So, so this one is relatively, I guess, a new connector. I don't get to replace it that often because it doesn't really go bad. So this one gonna go right here. This one gonna gonna go right there. This is right here. This is another similar one which might be the same as this one. And it's not the same because this one, this one has a much lower, much lower, and this one probably also has lower, let's see. Again, it's millimeter difference, same jack, same connection, but each one has a Smaller pins. Okay, so those two are gonna go right here. Let's see where this one gonna go to. This one also right there. Okay, this one is right here. So those are two separate ones. Even though they look the same, they're not the same. Okay, so this one is gonna go right here. This one is gonna go right here. Right there. Let's take a look. Okay, so this one there. All right, so. Okay, so those guys are right there. Uh, this one is separate. This one has a much lower pins, as you can see, sitting down there. Same compatible jack. Now, let's see if this guy. This one is not. This one has a slight bend on the back, a carocher, but this one going to be sitting properly, probably. All right. This guy, this guy, this guy seems a lot similar to, nope, or maybe yes. Okay, so maybe the, those two are the same. Let's see. All right. Okay, so this one goes right here. This one goes right there. All 
you know what probably not yeah no that's slightly different connector again it's millimeter differences but there are differences okay yeah the point is it's all the same thing it just uh, depends on how how it sits on the motherboard as you can see this one slightly higher than this one this one yeah yeah and this one is not even from any of this opera so i'll probably just put it someplace here yeah I'm and and the minimum order quantity is usually like a thousand pieces. So so when when it comes to this exact jack, since it doesn't break, I don't even want to order thousand of those pieces. I just put this one in uh, upside down. It's gonna have exactly the same alignment on the motherboard, assuming something needs to be cut here on the plastic side or in the casing. Maybe maybe not uh, some. Uh, tape here would be a good idea so it wouldn't be shorting to the ground but overall seems okay all right seems okay but i'm not 100 sure that it was a jack to begin with so yeah thanks so much for watching please leave a like uh subscribe and i will leave a comment below if the client requested a refund because we give the money back if in case the system doesn't work so if they're not going to request the refund i guess that was just the jack issue if they're going to request a refund that means probably this diet right here needed to go and just a bypass needed to be made All right okay thanks so much guys um stay safe thanks so much